Cameron, how would you uh, assess your round today? Um, I think it was good scrambling. Uh, I putted really nicely. I didn't drive it like I did yesterday. I drove it beautifully yesterday, and today I was all over the place. Um, but I think from there I managed it pretty well and putted did, really well. Do those kind of rounds kind of kind of help you a little bit when it, in fact that you didn't drive it well, but you're still yeah. able to close score together? I think for sure. There's plenty of times when the round I played today would be even, and I'd be you know barely around the cut line. And today I'd, you know, I pitched in twice in a row early. Um, which was a nice bonus. Hit some horrible shots right there and walked away with two birdies on three and four. And then from there, it cut a little better. But, I mean, I really just putted a lot of nice five to 15-footers and just kept myself in it with that. Is that maybe the difference between your game now versus maybe 18, 20 months ago? Um, yeah, it can be. I mean, I think typically I drive it a lot better than I have Previously, so I, I don't have less of those days. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just constantly getting a little bit better and more comfortable playing some faster greens with trickier hole locations. Just have a better chance of turning some of those scratchy days into good rounds. Does it feel good to say you made your first PGA Tour cut? Yeah, it does. It does for sure. Um, we said Will over here. You guys obviously uh, were three years together at Wake Forest. Yeah. Um, what was your guys' kind of relationship? You said you guys roomed, roomed together a lot, practiced together a lot. What was your guys' kind of relationship? Yeah, like? for sure. I mean, on on trips um, at tournaments, especially my first year, um, we we did room together a lot. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the whole team was around each other a lot. So we were all, I mean, I wanted to beat him as bad as anybody did because um, he was the best of all of us, especially his first few years of college. And, um, yeah, I mean, our, our, my first qualifier, I think he beat me by 40. Um, I don't think I'll forget that one. But hopefully, well, I kept it a little closer this time. So, Was it kind of motivating to see what he did last year, you know, coming out for with sure. no status to, to, to motivate yeah. you to kind of hopefully up your game to, to get yeah. out there too? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in, in college, Obviously, we were around each other a lot, and I beat him plenty of times, and he beat me plenty of times. So to see someone that I know I've played a lot with, and I can see why he's good and why I can also do that, I think is a huge confidence boost. I mean, to watch him finish second at the Masters, and then not to mention making a million cuts in a row and finishing top 20 whatever times in a row. Um, it just it just makes it known that it's possible um, and that I could do it too. What's the last? year been like for you? Uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I mean, probably a year and two months ago, I had no stat. I had Canada status, but that whole tour got canceled that year. Um, so I had essentially no status. I was playing Monday qualifiers. And um, yeah, I mean, a lot's changed from the, I mean, I haven't really done anything yet. I mean, I had a nice season on the Corn Ferry Tour, but I have a lot of work left this week to make it meaningful. Um, so I think it's certainly been a lot and a lot of changes, but it's been all good stuff and all going the right direction. Um, I know your dad, I know your dad. Oh, yeah. Okay.